Hello and welcome to Good Morning Thailand. I'm Jay, as always, and introducing, ladies and gentlemen, our special guest. It's Chris Smirk. สวัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone, I'm Chris Smirk from Banana Thai School. That's right. Some of you might already know her, and I'm sure you have watched her videos on YouTube, uh, where she teaches uh, Thai. Sorry, she teaches English rather Hi. and Thai. Mm -hmm. I was right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to to foreigners and. Um, Many students around the world. Mm -hmm. Now, I have uh, a special list of questions for you, mm -hmm. uh, Smook, and we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, let's look at some of the headlines from across the country today. Now, the first one I'd like to address is thunderstorms, strong winds, falling temperatures. It's forecasted until Friday. Now, you might have noticed that the weather has been uh, quite shocking, I mm -hmm. would say, and uh, it's come out of nowhere. Yeah, like yesterday, I just. Got the my condominium got the electric shortage. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was just us, uh, but yeah, uh, Thailand's meteorological department has advised 50 provinces to brace for thunderstorms, strong winds, and falling temperatures uh, by one to three degrees Celsius, with hailstorms in some areas until Friday. So we're gonna have this weather until Friday. Meanwhile, in Bangkok this morning, 60% of the capital was lashed by heavy wind with poor visibility. Uh, being reported by motorists on the expressway. Now, this turbulent weather conditions are being caused by the arrival of a strong cold, strong cold front from China, which is covering Thailand's northeast and is forecasted to spread to other regions. However, these conditions will converge with the westerly winds blowing through the north tomorrow and Friday. So, hopefully, by Friday, mm -hmm. um, the poor visibility, fog, and uh, rain will go away. Mm -hmm. But Yeah. At least it's cooling. Yeah. Everyone was late to work yesterday. <laughs> By everyone, I mean me. Uh, for some reason, they all came on time. I don't know how that works. Uh, so <laughs> I felt quite awful. It was like me coming in late, and I thought I'd be the first one, and then they were all day waiting for me. Yes. Um. And also yesterday, okay. I also yes, you say it's shocking because yeah. I was on a on the road, and since in the morning all of the street lights are not on. Yeah. Because normally it's on only in the evening, right? Mm -hmm. So. The whole city was just so dark. Yeah, it was gridlocked here in Asok. You couldn't. Uh, everyone preferred to walk, but you couldn't walk because it was raining. Yeah. Uh, so crazy weather in Thailand at the moment. Came out of nowhere after extremely hot weather. The temperature was really hot, mm -hmm. and it was quite warm. Um, one quick update regarding Turkey. Royal relief supplies have already. Made their way to Turkey. Humanitarian supplies donated by their Majesties, the King and Queen, have been sent to Turkey on a Royal Thai Air Force Airbus A340-500 series that will also bring Thai nationals back home to Thailand. The supplies included small-sized mobile generators, cold weather sleeping bags, large-sized tents, dried food, milk, and drinking water. So some great news and some uh, much-needed relief to Turkey. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last story. In our quick update today, Krusma is regarding Pattaya and condom vending machines. Oh wow! <laughs> Now, sex in Sin City just got safer as condoms were loaded into vending machines in two areas of Pattaya in the Chonburi Province, Eastern Thailand. Yesterday, mm -hmm. the initiative is part of a National Health Security Office's new campaign, Love Bang Love Safety. I'm not making this up. But they, that's what the campaign is, is called. Is it for real? Yeah. Oh, wow. Love Bang Love Safety, which aims to tackle teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. The project is being piloted in Pattaya, and depending on its success, it will be spread across to the, uh, will rather expand it to other areas in Thailand. And the Pattaya city mayor said uh, that three vending machines. Are selling four sizes of condoms, and they've been installed in two areas of the city: Lam Bali High Pier and Pattaya City Hospital. I don't know um, how tackling teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted disease needs to start in Pattaya. I think a lot more different types of uh, of people of all ages will will We find need it, it. use of that. Yeah. yeah, but surely Pattaya will find a use out of it. I yeah, guess. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Of all of all places. Yeah. Um, hopefully that this project, you know, will be successful and also expand it to other provinces. I think it's a, it's a, it's a really good project, and surely it can be um, expanded. Yeah, obviously. I personally think uh, it should have started in. I mean, statistically, I don't know if Padaya teens yeah. have a higher statistic for that. They must have had a reason, but then again, you know, 
officials in Thailand don't often do things considering reason. Uh, but more on that later. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to know uh, more headlines and more stories from across Thailand, please visit thetiger.com. However, we're now going to dive into the expertise of Cruz Mook, oh. <laughs> yeah, as you might have seen on our thumbnail today. We're going to be talking about learning Thai, living in Thailand, learning about Thai culture, and foreigners in Thailand in general. So, Cruz Mook, would you say uh, foreigners are obviously the largest number of your students? Exactly. Um, the the proportion of my students are mainly expat living in Thailand, mm -hmm. but 40% are also foreigners living abroad as well. Okay. Yeah, that's really interesting. So they study online, basically? Yes, because we offer 100% online lessons. So we have two different, um, let's say, parts. First part is self-paced learning, where you learn with the videos, and the second part, you have the private tutoring with our team, our Thai teachers. Okay. Well, not only are you a teacher, I, I, we, we were talking earlier, you said, you know, you started off, your, your first dive was like, you, you were a, a tutor. Mm -hmm. And then here we are now, you're also a YouTuber. So like, like we mentioned earlier, you have your own YouTube channel, Banana Thai. Um, when did that really take off? I started off, luckily, just um, around mid of 2019. Okay. Yes, and I got my first course dig um, digitalized. And that's when the COVID-19 started. Mm -hmm. And it started to kick off. So yes, I start first with the YouTube and also Instagram content. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, more on that in a bit. Let's talk about some tips or, 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 or more about Thai culture and tips that we could... Um, get more information out of you yes, as, as long as I have you today. So <laughs> let's start with, if I'm a foreigner, what are some tips to integrate into local community easily? Mm -hmm. I think as an expat or foreigner going to another country, foreign country, let's say, firstly, I think it's all about mindset. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be curious, be interested in the local community and what are the locals are doing what are their lifestyle and i think when you have the curiosity you started to feel more engaged and then you need a tool which of course language mm -hmm. and that's why you know learning local language just just basic is already useful all right mm -hmm. and what should you not do or say to thai people well i think you you, you also can recommend and or answer yeah. this, this question, but I will start first, and then I will also want to hear from you. So my, my part, I would say Thai people have a strong pride, mm -hmm. even though we are very humble. So we're not like, you know, I have a pride, but we, we, we do have a pride inside of us, even though we are soft and humble. Mm -hmm. So this pride is something that we hold it, you know, very closely to our heart. So that's why don't make Thai people lose their face. Yes. And I think that that's a really important thing. Like when you start, you know, raise your voice or criticize Thai people really straight in the mm -hmm. front of people in the public, this something consider as making someone lose their face. And this, it's a no-no for Thai. Yeah, I, th I think they're some of the kindest people in the world. And I think mm -hmm. that's a fair thing. Like, if you understand that point that you just made, that okay, don't don't try to make someone lose mm -hmm. face. It's something fairly easy 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 to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Because Thai people are extremely kind. They'll go out of your mm -hmm. way to help you. Mm -hmm. But you're right in the sense that once they feel disrespected, they can also go out of their way mm -hmm. to show you your own place, right? Yeah, exactly. And I think, um, but but I've never had a conflict mm -hmm. out on the street mm -hmm. with anyone. Yes. And I've been here for 20 years, guys. Yes. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and not and, and But like any place in the world, yeah, if you're looking for trouble, you'll find trouble. Yeah. But and, um, yeah. and also, as you mentioned, Thai people are very easy. We have the concept of sabai, sabai, yeah. right? Yeah. It's our mentality. It is what it is. And, yeah. And, 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 and instead of trying to change it, just embrace it. And I think most people just embrace it. Mm -hmm. But um, I... You know, talk stay, staying on the topic of like learning English and stuff. I think we, I often find myself uh, talking with a lot of the viewers as well, and most of our viewers agree that you come to Thailand. It's I think it's everyone's duty to come if you're going to a foreign country, learn their culture, learn mm -hmm. a little bit of, of their language. But there's a lot of people who come here and you know start mm -hmm. demanding like, mm -hmm. oh, 
like I'm not being serviced. Like, how come you don't mm-hmm. speak English and mm-hmm. stuff? It, you know, Im- imagine them asking that same question back. Like, you're coming to Thailand. Why don't you speak Thai? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a fair. That's a fair question. What do you, What do you think about that? Well, I think. I- it's really understandable for me mm-hmm. that there are a few foreigners or expats living in Thailand and they don't speak the language. Mm-hmm. I think it is because if, let's say, if you live in big cities, for example, Bangkok, Phuket, Got Samui, or Chiang Mai, right? Mm-hmm. It's also kind of like tourist destination and there's a lot of international businesses going on. And I think that's why there are you know, people who speak good enough and well English in the big cities. And also in Bangkok, you have Sukhumvit, where you can find cafe, restaurant, and services available for both Thai and in English. Yeah. So I understand that some people might just live very comfortably by just speaking English and not knowing Thai. However, I feel like it's important to know at least basic Thai to get around because if you want to have an experience of you know being connected to local community yep. engage and feel like home you need to be able to just not be in your zone but be with the local people yeah. and yes i feel like anyone who even tries 30 percent to embrace the culture yeah. they find themselves ending up living for a much longer time than they think they w- are willing to stay i initially came here with my family for two years mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we've now been here for 20 and, oh. I, and, and, and I think a lot of foreign families or expats who, who've come here, they have a similar story. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I first came here for a holiday, mm-hmm. loved it to the point where I kept coming back. And then you just, you know, once you embrace the Thai life, mm-hmm. you love the Thai life. And Jay, you also speak Thai as well, I've heard. I do, yes. I've, well, I've been here for 20 yeah. years. So, yeah. But can, can I be honest? Mm-hmm. Uh, for the first 10 years, I was in an international school mm-hmm. and I didn't speak Thai. I went to university, thankfully, Possibly the best decision uh, that ever uh, that was ever made uh, was going to a university in Bangkok, mm-hmm. and I had so many Thai friends, and I found myself when I go outside socializing that they all spoke Thai, mm-hmm. right? And and f- I get it, you know, for the for the first ten minutes they'd be like, "Oh, Jay is here, let me speak English," mm-hmm. and then they would switch back to their mother tongue, which would be natural, mm-hmm. right? Because it's easier for them to communicate. But it also helps you. It helped me because I was like, I better start learning Thai or I'm going to be left out for the next four years. So I, uh, I yeah, I, I had many friends. I had a girlfriend mm-hmm. uh, who, who was also Thai. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of learned Thai through that. And you see, this is the experience that you want to get. Yeah. And that's why that experience, you need Thai language. So, of course, you can live whatever life and you can have different ex- living experience. Yeah. But yes, some certain experience require you to speak basic Thai. Mm-hmm. What do you think? are the barriers connecting with Thai people? Like for, I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. I have I have some very famous YouTubers that I like to watch that are from Japan. So they're expat YouTubers and they often talk about, even if you can speak fluent Japanese, as a foreigner, they find it difficult connecting to Thailand. Mm-hmm. To, 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 sorry, uh, as foreigners, they find it difficult connecting to Japanese people. Mm-hmm. But do you think if, if you... If a foreigner comes here and embraces the culture, embraces the language, do they have any barriers connecting to Thai people? I would say no, not at all. Like Thai people are very welcoming and mm-hmm. we, we are very like open. So as you can see that we also adapt um, different concepts, ideas and things from, you know, different parts of the world. So we are very accepting. And honestly, I'm telling you, Thai people love when foreigners try to speak um, Thai, yeah, even, though, so you, even though you don't speak perfectly, but they would treat you already differently because it's, it's a big, how do you say, you know, the sign of respect yes. for us. Most Thais might be shy to speak English because, you know, um, they, they might feel like their language skills aren't good enough mm-hmm. to communicate and they might be shy. But as soon as you're right, even a couple of words of Thai, they'd be like, oh, you can speak Thai, yeah. like come, let, 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 let's, you know, and and you just seen a cha- change of mood because they're like, oh wow, like you 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 you're showing that respect, you care enough to speak a few words of Thai, yeah, and they just they're just like come, let let me feed you, let me take care of you, or yeah. let me help you out with whatever you need. Yeah. So I completely agree with you on so that. Don't be stressed when you try to 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 speak Thai, but people don't understand you. There is no, you know, like um, yeah. just 
how the judgment yes toward you but they they're trying to figure out what you're trying to say my so. biggest hurdle was when i first started learning thai i would attempt to speak in thai and they'd mm-hmm. be like alina like ah. they, they couldn't maybe catch me the first mm-hmm. time and then mm-hmm. i'd be like oh, i must have said something wrong and yeah then I, I switched understand. to english yeah i understand and it speaking. takes a lot of confidence to repeat the same thing again but um mm-hmm. Try. Just, just, just keep trying. Just have to get going. Yeah. You just have to get going. And those who ask you, Alaina, you know, like... It might be because of the accent, but yeah. They, yeah, they don't mean it in no, like no, a... No, no, no. Yeah. So just keep it up. Just do it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. Once we come back from the break, more questions with Krush Smook. So find out more after the break. And join the fun at Carnival Magic, the world's first Thai carnival theme park. Don't miss the opportunity to experience the enchantment of the magical wonders at the one, the only, Carnival Magic Phuket. Welcome back. You're watching Good Morning Thailand. It's Jay and Chris Smook here. And this show is brought to you by Carnival Magic. It's a carnival fantasy. Chris Smook, I suggest next time you go to Phuket, uh, visit Carnival Magic. It's a great time to go alone with your friends, with your family. You won't be disappointed. It's a... It's like one of the best shows in Thailand at the moment. Definitely check it out next time. We made a video about it. Check it out on YouTube. Big plug. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Moving on. Um, Let's. We're talking about Thailand, Thai culture, Thai language Mm -hmm. skills with Kru Smuk. She's a a Thai teacher. Also, she's a YouTuber. So you can check her out at Banana Thai. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with Banana IT. Do you own the Banana Empire? Well, not really. <laughs> okay. But we, I mean, actually, I'm the customer of Banana IT. Okay. I see. So I can, you know, yeah. I use the concept of supporting the Banana Empire. <laughs> Let's talk about 2023. Now that the country's open, have you seen there, is there like more demand, you think, for foreigners wanting to learn Thai? Have mm-hmm. you seen an increase in people trying to contact you? Mm-hmm. From my own perspective as a Thai language platform, I've seen more and more audience and mm-hmm. followers who you know show the interest of learning Thai um, and I think it is because also there are enough suppliers as well yeah At the be- you know in in the past there might not be enough suppliers as in the schools or tutoring services but now you can see Thai language schools um Thai lesson content on social media everywhere yeah. and I do believe it is because there is demand on, with that, on, on, on that yeah there, mm-hmm. a, a lot more people have kind of showed up wanting yeah. to do this as well yeah yeah definitely now, let's talk about the people who've been here for 10 years or 20 years or it's not about time but um, you know why there's so many foreigners or expats who live here mm-hmm. who've embraced Thai culture and mm-hmm. Thai society mm-hmm. but they either refuse or have never tried to learn Thai what, what, what do you think is the reason for that Hmm. As I mentioned earlier in the first part, right, there there are enough services and um, places that expat can get around with ease just by using English. But I think another reason would also be that um, maybe for that for for their living lifestyles, they also engage a lot in the Western community mm-hmm. at work. I've also heard many of my students say that, look, I want to learn Thai, but all my colleagues, they all are native, sorry, not native, but like international worker. And my Thai colleagues even speak Thai perfectly. Mm-hmm. So they have less opportunity to practice. Yeah, yeah that could be one thing. But, um, you know, you don't have to only practice with your own cycle, like, you know, circle at work, but it's everywhere. You can buy fruits order food or just you know make a joke with mm-hmm. people around on the street i think you always have to find the opportunities to use your time yeah yeah i think you're very kind as well mm-hmm. i think you <coughs> excuse me i think you're very kind there are a lot of people who live here and take advantage of the fact that yeah you can get by in english and they never try because they mm-hmm. don't want to mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, for those people we would like to say give it a try yes look at cruise Smoke. She's asking you to give it a try. Be better. No. Yes. Um, everybody has their reasons and mm-hmm, we respect mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Do you think 
it, it's necessary to learn Thai because yes, look, I think we both know people who have lived here for a very long time. Whatever their reasons might be to not learn Thai, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's their reason. But mm-hmm. is it necessary to learn Thai in Thailand? Can you survive without learning Thai? You can definitely survive in yeah. Thailand. Yeah, you might face some difficulties while yes. doing some paperwork here and there, but you can. Yes, you can definitely survive. But I just asked you earlier, what kind of living experience? Do you want to have when you live here? Mm. If you want to feel like home, if you want to, you know, look at everyone's faces and smile and can engage and connect a bit, that's you need. It, it, it requires some certain skill of language, not only advanced level but just basic Thai words. I think if you already know twenty um, daily Thai words, you can get around with ease and you can already like start to mm-hmm. show some respect to the local. What are some common mistakes you find people uh, make when trying to learn or speak Thai? First of all, I want to mention that Thai language is not the easiest language yeah, to learn. It's very tonal. What do you think? You also learned Thai before. It's the tones. Mm-hmm. It's how one word can have four meanings. Mm-hmm. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not cool. The pronunciation. Yes, it's pronunciation. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for, for me... But it's not yeah. even the pronunciation. It's just the tone. It's like you can say the word, but it's like... If whether you go high or low or just normal or hold it or don't hold it, yeah, exactly. Too much this to remember. also this concept doesn't exist in um, doesn't exist in let's say English yeah. or many other language, right? Mm-hmm. Um, for the concept of tone. However, I don't want the concept of tone to discourage you to learn Thai. Mm-hmm. Instead, you can look at the concept of tone as you know a movement of the pitch, and you even have it in English. Like you say, no, mm-hmm. no, no. I think that's just Australians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I adopt a bit of the no from <laughs> okay. Australian. Yeah, but you can see that we, in English, you also have different movement of the yeah, pitch. Yeah. But in Thai, it's really strict because if you say it in a different movement, it would have different meanings. Mm-hmm. So I think that is the first thing why people think that Thai language is um, difficult to master. Yes, so that's... Okay. that's sorry, what, what, what was the question no, that, again? That's fair enough, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I actually forgot my question. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, you were talking about... I was just about, embraced in the yeah, question. Yeah. I think I asked you, um, what are the common mistakes people ah, make okay. while learning okay. and speaking So that's Thai. why when you first focus on a difficult thing, everything just... Su- just look like it's so difficult to master. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I would like you to start with easy thing, right? So find the sources that make you feel motivated to learn yeah. something that suits your level and your needs. You will only feel motivated when you have the feeling of success mm. and something that you can use. So find the right materials, right knowledge, right channel and then you know just yeah. keep on it for me initially i started learning through songs, songs. I, could, I could uh sing songs without knowing what they meant mm-hmm. and then i learned from my friends so when i learned from my friends you know we sp- they speak a bit rough mm-hmm. they don't speak but pro you know so mm-hmm. they don't speak politely so i actually learned how to speak politely by watching lakhan uh-huh yeah. Is Lacan really polite? Lacan as in like serious. No, uh, yes, okay, but but what I mean is, you know, like the my favorite celebrity is Tai Jerry Pond. So I oh, watch right. her Lacan, right? Mm-hmm. So and and it's always like Kun Tong Kan Alai Kap Kun Smoke, you know, oh, wow. something like that. So it's yeah. like you get an idea of how to speak the most polite way mm-hmm. and then you kind of I'm like, okay, I know how to speak rudely. <laughs> now I know how to speak ext- extremely politely. Mm-hmm. Let me find a balance. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you know, this is a good that you mentioned about it. There are a lot of Thai learners that start learning Thai from watching series. Yes, series and soap operas yes. are big in Thailand. I think one of you definitely, you know, <laughs> want to learn Thai because you watch Thai series, like yeah. Boy Love Series. Mm-hmm. It's very pop. You know what Boy Love si- Series? Boy is? Love Series. Yeah, it's like. Is yeah. that, is boy that, love boy. Series. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very famous. Oh yeah, that's kind of like taking over. Um, South Asia. Asia at the yeah, moment. definitely. Yeah. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, can you give us one trick to mm-hmm. learn Thai? Like you said, just figure out what works for you. Yes. So, is there any trick that I can use to 
maybe how, how, let's say for translation purposes mm-hmm. yeah let's say initially you want to learn what a word is do i just type that on google would you suggest google translate or how do i how do i get the translations going i wouldn't go with google t- translate okay um the one that i normally use is actually um a english dictionary mm-hmm I normally search in Thai and they pop up in English. Okay. And it's called Long Du. Long Du. Yeah, Long Du. Or another website that is really good to check out is Thai Dash Language. Okay. There you can also type down the words and it's just come up with, you know, not only the the tra- uh, translation but also the example words. So my okay. tip would be when you learn new words, not only learn a word and the meaning. Mm-hmm. But also learn how to use that new word in different sentences. Okay. Try to make sentences from that word. And because, for example, let's say if you learn the word water, what is the word water in Thai? Nam. Nam Thai ha. Nam, right? So <laughs> I feel like I've been tested. <laughs> is my tone okay? <laughs> yeah. So the word nam is water, right? Okay. Instead of just just thinking nam water, you try to make a sentence like I. Want to drink water? So with that example um, sentence, you can already remember not only the word, but the sentence that you can use mm. in your daily life just right away. Yeah. And then you change the water with beer. Exactly. I want to drink beer. <laughs> right? You could. You could apply the same thing. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. All right. Um, so look, as, as a YouTuber in Thailand, like, You inspire foreigners to learn Thai, expats, you know, people to learn Thai. Have you ever thought of teaching uh, English to Thais? Because I was at first when I, you know, found your found your channel and like started to learn about you. I was like, oh wow, she does great. But I was like, you know, um, she's highly energetic. I, I, I like I told you, contagious energy. Uh, and but yeah, have, have you ever taught English to Thais? Because I'm sure the Thai people would love to learn from you. Yeah, um, I've thought about it uh-huh. as well. Um, there are a few inquiries. Um, people reach out to to me and ask, "Oh, do you also offer English school or English English lessons or yeah. not?" Yeah. Also, a lot of followers, our followers, are surprisingly Thai mm-hmm. <laughs> because they kind of like learn English with yeah, my videos as yeah. well. But um, I just I, I thought I give a thought about it. But I think now I want to focus first. On mm. banana Thai, but who knows? In a few years, maybe there are some banana English coming. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. It's a banana empire. Banana empire. <laughs> so, how do you deal with the attention you get that comes with YouTube? Like, um, you know, you you are an online personality. Do you get recognized while walking around Bangkok, or, you know, random people sliding into your DMs? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I had a few experiences that people, mm. um, you know. Yeah. Come say, oh, are you Chris Smoke? Are you the banana girl? <laughs> banana so that, girl. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's that happened from time to time, okay. and I'm I'm very very happy because you know it's mean that people, um, like my channel and my, um, the values that I send to them. Um, but also there are also some attention. Yeah. That you know, unwanted attention. Unwanted yeah, attention. Fair of course, we always love attention, but. Yes. Sometimes it's not really related to what we are doing. Yeah. So as you can see, if you check out our Instagram or our YouTube, you can see that um, we are we we use Thai language and culture as a center of mm-hmm. our channel. Of course, I try to also integrate my personality, and not only me. Now in the future, we I want to also introduce other teacher from our teams as well. Mm-hmm. But we try to keep it very professional and relatable, only for Thai language, culture, and lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. What is the most satisfying part of your job? Hmm. I I really love my job. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I look at what I'm doing. I separate my job into two parts. First one is content content um, creator, and content creator or content creating involve also designing um, not only lessons but also learning experience. How to make people fun? How to make Thai language accessible and easy to understand? So I love this job because I'm in a mode of helping, mm-hmm. and I know that people. Get the values out of it, so that is very satisfying. The second part of my job is, I would say, entrepreneur. Yeah, I don't have any business degree, but 
I found out that I really, I am really into this. I love to learn more about this. I love to see and experiment. Ex- experiment. What can I do with it right away? Because I already have my baby, and I can just like, oh, grow it in this way and that way, and listen from my students and my audience. So, this part, these two parts of my job is really satisfying. Okay, yeah. Let, let's quickly talk about the Banana Empire. So, you've got obviously the Banana Thai YouTube channel mm-hmm. where uh, anyone can visit the YouTube channel and yes. learn Thai. You've got uh, many videos. Uh, Talking about words, uh, you know, different different aspects of Thailand culture, learning Thai. What what else have you going on in the Banana Empire? So you've got your mm-hmm. own uh, school as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got my own school um, where I offer um, sale paced video lessons, where students can log in and learn with my videos directly there. So that is perfect for those who don't live in Thailand or live in a different uh, different time zone or doesn't have like uh, how do you have flexible. Schedule, and then we also offer the um, private tutoring via Zoom, and we have a, a team of teacher that um, train, and we work together, mm-hmm. and those um, teacher will help you um, by providing one-on-one or group lessons. And besides that, we also have a lot of free content. Mm. I think it's really important to not only just to have this. Products and service, but we also have to give more. And by giving more, is showing what we can help the mm-hmm. others. So we have podcast as well. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Ch- check the out podcast. the Instagram. Oh, sorry, the Spotify. Okay. It's called so, uh, available on Spotify. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just search banana Thai or just learn Thai. You will see it's pop up already. Okay. Podcast is perfect for those who want to like integrate learning when. You know, in the daily life, yeah. when they're just like driving. Yeah. And then we also have YouTube, which is more like long videos, and we have Instagram. Instagram is more like a channel that we engage directly. So you will see more of my personality and my team on Instagram. So we have different channel mm-hmm. serving different um, purposes. All right. Well, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been uh, a pleasure to interview and talk with Chris Muk from Banana Thai. Thank you very much for coming onto the show, <laughs> viewers. If you do have any comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. As for now, this is Jay signing off. We'll see you live once again tomorrow morning. Until then, take care. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. สวัสดีค่ะ